An engineering professor and his students at San Jose State University have developed the very latest in zero emission vehicles. ABC 7's Karina Rusk shows us how the group has gone beyond electric and into a whole new realm of green transportation. Dr. Tyran Shu is behind the wheel of his dream car. He and his students spent the last two years designing and developing an electric vehicle that uses both human and solar power. This probably is one of the first projects that involve the solar energy in a mobile system. The car has a uniquely integrated system. The electric motor is driven by clean power silicone batteries. Those batteries can be charged by traditional plug-in electric or by four solar panels on the roof and hood. They work while driving or parked. We have a switch over here. We can choose from the charging like between the electric, uh, like the, the AC output and the solar. Four fully charged batteries can last up to 60 miles. There's also the human powered aspect of the car. This was the first prototype, but adding the solar element made it an award winning design and the winner of a $15,000 national prize. Using the electric motor, the car can go about 35 miles an hour. The design team envisions people using pedal power in highly congested urban areas. The target market includes places like China, India, and Mexico, but also as a replacement for utility and postal delivery vehicles everywhere. Professor and students say it's ready for mass production. Engineers and people who are involved in manufacturing will understand this. We also have to reach out to the consumers, and really the consumers are the ones that we have to convince. In case the big three CEOs are listening, the San Jose State Invention is called a human hybrid powered vehicle and would sell for about $4,000. I certainly uh, would be more than happy to talk to them and invite them to try our cars. The city of San Jose is already impressed and plans to honor the engineering team next week. In San Jose, Karina Rusk, ABC 7 News.